It's been two years since Titanfall made its first splash into the FPS market, bringing a fresh feel to the genre with mech combat and parkour mechanics. Starting off, the campaign is much better than the original game, with a full-blown single-player campaign instead of that multiplayer campaign that was in the first game. It's very similar to a traditional Call of Duty campaign, with you killing hordes of enemies in different shooting galleries. The story itself is fairly average, it focuses mostly on the interactions between Pilot and Titan. You play as a pilot named Cooper, who finds himself behind enemy lines with a Titan named BT. They try really hard to play into this man and machine friendship, but it never really builds into anything. And a lot of that really has to do with the fact that BT, the Titan, doesn't really have much of a personality at all. He's very boring, monotone, delivered blunt answers that just come across as boring and bland. Overall, the characters themselves are decent, but it very much feels like a traditional Call of Duty campaign where the writing itself is just kind of bland. I do have to point out as well that the AI is pretty bad. For the most part, there isn't a whole lot of a challenge in this game, and as a result, I would highly recommend you play this game on hard. The best thing about the single player is the level design, especially the factory level. It does a fantastic job of using the game's platforming parkour mechanics to its fullest extent. Now, the worst thing about the campaign is the length. It's only about four to six hours, depending on how fast and good you are, and because the AI, as I mentioned before, is really bad, you're just gonna breeze through it. Titanfall 2 really shines when it comes to the multiplayer. They've improved in almost every single aspect of the original game's multiplayer. There's just so many guns you can choose from, from rocket launchers, sniper rifles, shotguns, assault rifles, and even some really cool high-tech weapons like lasers. All the guns look and sound fantastic. There is a ton of different perks to choose from. You can get faster reloading, different sights, and more. My favorite being the choice between the different abilities. You can use Stim, which makes you go super fast. You can get places really quick. You can also combo it with your parkour system to do some crazy wall climbing. And then you have the grapple ability, so you can swing around like Spider-Man, or almost like Attack on Titan between different buildings. It's really cool. And then if you want to go more stealthy, you can grab a cloak, or if you want to just see where people are, you can use a radar detecting ability. And then there's also boosters, which are kind of like kill streaks from Call of Duty. You can get like enhanced damage, extra batteries, and stuff like that. The Titans have also been revamped vastly from the original game. This time around, instead of jumping onto Titans and then shooting them out and damaging them as you go, you steal a battery, which takes a chunk of their health. And batteries can then also be used to regenerate a portion of a friendly Titan's health, which creates a really interesting mechanic as you steal batteries and then help out friendly Titans. They've also split the Titans into eight different classes now. Some of them are more of a defensive sniping role, while others are up close and personal like a Ronin with a sword. You've got the Scorch, which is sort of a flamethrower kind of guy. You can shoot a charge that explodes into a fire area of attack. And then you have the Legion, which is more of a chain gun user. There's also missile users that can deploy shields in the battlefield and so forth. Overall, I really like the changes to the Titans. It really helps you to distinguish them on the face of the battlefield. And of course, just like the pilots, there's tons of customization options for Titans. You can make the Titan come down faster at the cost of a shield, or give yourself more critical damage, or increase or decrease particular abilities. And of course, there's tons of different options for customizing your pilot insignia, and even camo colors for both your pilot and your Titan. There's also a ton of different game modes to play from, like Bounty Hunter, which has you hunt people down, and then you have to deposit the money that you get from killing them. And then you have a traditional deathmatch, attrition, hold a point, even capture the flag. There really is a game mode in this game for anyone. Titanfall 2 really needs to be praised for its fantastic microtransaction policy. All future maps in this game are going to be completely free, and it's pretty cheap to buy skins and portraits and more. Now normally it does suck that a $60 game is charging for these, but given that Respawn is making all future maps free, it's definitely worth it. I will say that the weakest part of the multiplayer is the map design. It's just nowhere near as good as the first game at utilizing the parkour mechanics. Fortunately, Respawn is offering completely free map DLC for this game, and even brought back an old favorite like Angel City. So I'm sure this will be fixed in the future. Graphically, Titanfall 2 looks pretty good. It's above average for sure, but it's not the best looking game either. Overall, Titanfall 2 is a lot of fun. It's a very unique game with its mix of pilot and mech-based gameplay. It also does a remarkable job at balancing both these to feel useful. The only thing that holds this game back is the short campaign and poor AI, and also lacking map design. But there's just so much to love about this game that I would highly recommend it to anyone who's even remotely interested. It just feels completely fresh from other shooters. Titanfall 2 gets a solid 8 out of 10.